Hello everybody, uh, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, today I am going to be doing a video response to a lot of the atheist claims that, that seem to be out there that uh, God is an invisible sky daddy. Um, first off, when we say our Father in Heaven, what we're saying here is that unlike all these other gods that are out there, who are really just false idols and nothing at all, who are gods people make up in their mind either for things they couldn't understand, emotional emotions, uh, why earthquakes happen, why thunderbolts happen, you know, all these various Greek gods. For us, when we say our Father in Heaven, we are showing that God is as close to us through the Holy Spirit as a father is to his son, and as a son is to his father. How he loves us, and takes care of us, and provides for our needs, and blesses us, just as a father does. Now, he does not live in the sky. When, in the Old Testament, in the Hebrew Bible, when you read the word heavens, it is because... In the Hebrew language, there's no word for sky or universe. They would say heavens. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Meaning the sky, the universe, and all that is therein of. When God is invisible, it is because... Now, I want you to listen closely, atheists. It is because he is not part of his creation. And this is why we cannot see him. If he was part of his creation, then he would be a created thing and not the creator of the universe. Yet God did show himself and made him manifest known through Jesus Christ. Jesus' body became the living temple of the Lord. And when Jesus loved people, and showed them mercy and forgave their sins and healed them and died for their sins, we were showing exactly how God, Jehovah, works in His creation and how He heals them. We seem to be having this, uh, to be some sort of attack against Christianity all over, you know, uh, this seems to be some things atheists seem to be saying to try and discredit Christianity. Now I'm going to give you proof from the scriptures about what I'm saying. Because I could just be giving speeches and maybe my Bible actually does teach that he's up in the sky. Let's find out if that's true or not. Here I'm going to be reading from the book of Kings, 1 Kings, chapter 8, and we're going to be starting from verse 22 down. And this is Solomon's prayer of dedication. A little bit of background on this book, and what's going on here is they have built the temple in Israel, and now uh, this is Solomon's prayer of dedication in front of the assembly, in front of the ecclesia, the children of God. And let's listen. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in front of the whole assembly of Israel, spread out his hands towards heaven, and said, O Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. You who keep your covenant of love with your servants, who continue wholeheartedly in your way. You have kept your promise to your servant David, my father. With your mouth you have promised, and with your hand you have fulfilled it as it is today. Now, Lord, God of Israel, keep for your servant David, my father, the promises you made to him when you said, You shall never fail to have a man to sit before me on the throne of Israel, if only your sons are careful in all they do to walk before me as you have done. And now, O God of Israel, let your word that you promised your servant David, my father, come true. But will God really dwell on earth? The heavens, even the highest heaven, cannot contain you. How much less this temple I have built. Yet give a 
attention to your servant's prayer and his plea for mercy. O oh Lord my God, hear the cry and the prayer that your servant is praying in your presence this day. May your eyes be open toward this temple night and day, this place of which you said, My name shall be there, so that you will hear the prayer your servant prays toward this place. Hear the supplication of your servant and of your people Israel when they pray toward this place. Hear from heaven your dwelling place, and when you hear, forgive. When a man wrongs his Okay, so you see that? Now, Lord God of Israel, keep from your servant David, my father, the promise you have made to him when you said, You shall never fail to have a man to sit before me on the throne of Israel, if only your sons are careful in all they do and walk before me. As you have done, and now, O God of Israel, let the word that you promised your servant David, my father, come true. But will God really dwell on earth? The heavens, even the highest heavens, heaven, cannot contain you. Atheist, I want you to look at this verse and understand it. Christians, do not get disheartened when an atheist says, Sky Daddy, who cares? They have no idea what they're talking about. They don't know, have any idea what the Bible says. This is our book. Let's read it so we can refute them. And here we go. I have done so. And this is why I say, Jesus is Lord. Atheism is stupid, made by the dummies, for the dummies. Amen.